Right now at 5, our coverage continues of that bus crash involving dozens of people in Winston County. Employees from UAB were on board at the time. Some of them are in the hospital right now. We have team coverage on this developing story from the scene near Houston to Birmingham, where that bus was heading. Yeah, we want to begin, though, with WVTM 13's Brittany Decker. She is at the scene of this wreck in Winston County. Brittany. Alabama State Troopers say that 27 people were on this bus, including UAB employees, mostly pediatric residents. When this bus came barreling down this steep hill, you could see the tracks here went right down through the intersection, hit this rock and smashed right into the tree on Valley Drive. We're in Winston County. The deputy here on scene says that the brakes went out on the Blazers bus. 11 passengers in total were hurt. They were transported from the scene. Seven of them went to the UAB. Two of them have serious injuries at this time. Four others went to Coleman Regional Medical Center. This Blazers bus was an express bus that was being operated by First Transit. When we first got here, there was a wrecker here on the scene that was removing this bus. But when this crash initially happened right after noontime today, it was a huge scene. A lot of first responders, 10 ambulances here and helicopters as well. The investigation continues into this bus crash and we will keep you updated on the condition of these passengers. Back to you. Want to continue our team coverage right now with WVTM 13's Erin Kelly. She's been live at UAB since this story broke. Erin, UAB doctors, they just gave an update on those employees conditions. What did they say? Well, they started out by thanking the first responders that were there at the scene. We understand seven people were brought here to UAB. We have some video from earlier this afternoon of a medical helicopter arriving here. According to the doctors who just spoke, they said that five people were initially considered to have serious injuries. They now believe it's about uh, three people that have serious injuries. They say that um, luckily no one has what are considered to be life threatening injuries. But we heard from the senior vice president of medicine here. He talked about what this has been like for the hospital. You can also imagine the emotions around taking care of individuals who have been injured, but also our colleagues. Um, uh, these are people who we work with, who have trained, and who take care of patients. And we learned a little bit more about what those um, pediatric residents were doing on this retreat. We understand this is an annual retreat. It teaches leadership skills and that they were on their way to a lake house when this crash happened. We also just learned that about 16 additional patients did come to the hospital here within the last hour or so, but they did not come necessarily by ambulance. Some of them may have come by a private vehicle. We are going to work to gather uh, more information for you. That's the latest here in Birmingham. Aaron Kelly, WVTM 13. Now, the bus involved in this crash is operated by First Transit Company. That employs the driver who was behind the wheel at the time. We spoke with the bus operator today who says the driver is in the hospital this afternoon. We do not know his or her condition. We're told the driver has been with First Transit for two years and has no prior incidents. The company tells us they plan to cooperate with the local investigation and also do an investigation of their own. It has employees at the scene right now. They are checking the equipment and looking into other factors. We're going to have continuing coverage of this breaking story throughout the evening. You can get updates as they happen by downloading the WVTM 13 mobile app. You can also sign up for news alerts. That way you get that information right when we do.